I was just mesmerized by how people could work with animals. Good girl. It was just absolutely enthralling that you could have a relationship with a dolphin or an eagle or an elephant. Here in the dry Texas desert, far from the plains of the Serengeti, few would expect to see giraffes stretching to the tops of trees or lions wandering about. But exotic creatures like these and many more have become a common yet breathtaking sight at the El Paso Zoo. And in the newest corner of the park, animal trainer Joe Craftwall brings in birds from all over the world. Come on, Vic. There you go. When they come in and land on your hand, you, you, it's, it's, it's just, oh, I'm looking for the right words. Magnificent is not enough of a word. But if I turn like this, you guys might even feel the wind coming off those wings. There we go. Yeah, it's just it's impossible not to fall in love with them. Good job, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed a chance to meet Queen Victoria, our Andean condor. Come on, Vic. Like a director on Broadway, Joe the Birdman choreographs his cast of crows and cassowaries show after show, perfecting their routines down to the last flap of their wings. There you go. Take that right over there to the bin for me, okay? Right over to the bin. There you go. Find that slot on top and put it in. His technique, honed after decades of study and performance, is part psychology part dance. You can communicate with an animal by mutually reading body language. If you're really tuned in, that animal will tell you everything that's going on. The rest of it I had to learn as, as we went on opera and conditioning and behavioral science and Maslow and Skinner. All that had to be learned through long college hours. <laughs> that's where they eat a variety of fruit and they also use their strong beaks to break open tree bark so they can eat different types of bugs. Joe has mastered the art of subtle guidance, body language, tone of voice, misdirection. It all keeps exotic birds eating from the palm of his hand, and it's how he shares a deeper message with his audience. If people don't know that some of their garbage ends up in the ocean, they're, they're just, what will prompt them to change their behavior so that, you know, plastic does go in a recycling bin. I'm able to come out there and show people a big, beautiful eight-foot wingspan pelican. And if they, if they love that pelican, then, they, then they're gonna wanna protect the habitat. Joe Crathwall trains not only birds to behave, but more importantly, people. He's using his stage to advocate for conservation so that species like the California condor will continue to soar through the sky for generations. And it's these moments, sharing the creatures he loves, that makes Joe's career as the Birdman all worth it. You love what you do? Oh, absolutely. I get to go out in front of a crowd of people and fly a condor to my arm. There you go. Even when I say it out loud, it's, I, I still, barely believe it.